Good day guys, this is Chris for Tank and Tech and today I will show you how to add picture to your start menu. It's very simple, so let's get started. Hello, to have this is simple. For things guys you need to choose your picture i will choose this one for example then you will have to slice it what do i mean by that is you will have to make some square right to make sure that we end up like this right rectangular for this one square for this one we won't get so once you've done that, you just have to, read to choose your picture, edit the picture. Once you are done, then uh, we will download, go to the application that you need to download, sorry, uh, to end up with something like this. All right, let's get started again. What I didn't mention is that uh, on top of it, it's free. Right, so basically we will go to our favorite browser. There is a few ways to do that, but I start by this one. So you go to your favorite favorite browser, sorry, and you type uh, pinfile.exe. Alright. If you do that and you click in here, you will end up to Microsoft their store. Alright. So you can also go to a Microsoft store which is here for me and as you can see I'm getting a date uh, and you type pin files all right then there it is so it's up to you which way you find uh, the easiest okay if you don't want to go to your browser it's fine uh, so as you it will say it's, um, install but for me since it's already installed all right uh, you can install it to your device if you don't have it in uh, in uh, your device but uh, I got it in my computer and that's only the way I want it all right you can pin it to start if you want to uh, but for now I will just launch it all right so once I launch it this is how it end up okay so once you have this uh, you will have to choose or pick the file or the folder or the steam it's whatever you want to pin to the start right but i show you only for the picture today so you click on file then that's what i was saying earlier all right so uh, you, you select whichever picture you want okay you open all right i will have to unpin it so i have this one i will have to unpin it to show you how it works uh, yes uh, it's uh, this one here I unpin first so uh, because it's a large file I will use the square not the square icon but the white icon I'll show you white icon when you click in here all right then you need to go to setting and in here you need to put fill all right like this you are sure to depending on the size of your icon you don't have to do all this all right or the the size of your picture actually but uh, then you can go to background because depending on how the file is you will have some uh, line so you can choose transparent if you want to right. when this is done it's as simple as pin to menu you click pin again and yes that's what I want to do there then you will see that the file is here you just have to bring it here all right once it's here I will show you that you can resize it to medium if you want to or to small if you want to let's say I want a small one I'll show you okay uh, we all resize them to small like this you see more or less uh, what can be done and uh, that we are not bound uh, so as you can see it, <laughs> it takes a while huh? say that it was going to be easy but once you are set you don't have to move uh, uh, 
the fire that much. And so here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Okay, you can have it that way if you want to as well. Right? Once you are here, of course, you can. As I just said in the previous video, uh, if you want, I will uh, try to include uh, the link uh, down below in the description. Uh, you can see the video on how to do all those uh, menus. Uh, so you can do like this if you want. Uh, you can put them even to medium if you want. Uh, size to medium. Right, you can really play and do uh, uh, as you please with it. Huh? Um, so, um, one thing I didn't mention in the previous video is that those actually are just pictures. Okay. Here they ask you when you pick a file, they will ask you what to open it with. Okay. Uh, I'll show you this one. Right. Uh, I'll show you how to do this one. I will uniform means that it, it just fit the picture that you have or the icon, but it do not scale it as if you put fill. You can see what it does. All right. So that's why uniform. And if you put none, then basically uh, it will just crop to the size that you have. So here you have. So depending on the quality of you have, depending on the um, uh, size, also uh, it will be uh, better or not. When you click on set default icons and parameters, basically it just resets. That's all. Uh, a reset would be better, but that's uh, what they did. All right. Oh yes, you can choose another picture by double clicking on it. And the setting, you can pin to menu, and you have this here, so you can rename your uh, your file, and this is good if you don't want, uh, as I will show you when we go back to, or I can show you now. Uh, you can see here, I have this, the name of the file. So if you don't want it, you can put as simple as a dot, three dots, whatever. It won't show that much. Uh, I didn't do it because for me after I will remove all that it was just to show you guys and here the default it's because uh, the file which is pinned on your menu basically is still a picture so you can choose what to open with I will show you with the default and then I will show you with photo alright so all the other are set to default so I will select this one with photo and I pin it okay. that's why you have this extra step uh, when you say spins to menu right so here I have my file and you can see there is only one dot all right so when I click on it that's why that's what happened because I select photo hmm. so I can put ok and this is what happened all right so it's an extra step if you want to edit the picture if you are not happy with or now all the other are set to default and this is what happened it goes direct to photo because it's a default so it doesn't ask you you see so it's up to you and just to remind you that this is basically still uh, a photo only all right so i can move this one here i can uh, resize it to small so as i was saying you have the um, the little bar on the side depending on how the photo is uh, for example if I select this one the bar will be on top and at the bottom okay because of the uh, or this one for that matter all right okay so this one I can resize as well so if you want when you resize and have uh, two pictures here for example uh, and two halves you have to edit and cut your picture that you have which is uh, you remember those uh, you will have to cut this in two all right so you go to your again to your favorite editing software so if you want to do something like this to put two for example one half of the tire and the other half of the tire in that case uh, you will have to edit your file with your favorite uh, photo editing software whichever it is um, 
because if you remember as I say earlier uh, you have to edit this and cut it into parts okay and then you will be able to pin it there this is because of the size of the picture so you have a lot as I did say a lot of try and error right this one I size is to look like this because I like it that way right uh, the good thing about that is it, as I did say it's very very flexible I will unpin this one uh, because I want to put it back as it was right. so you have always to work uh, your way backward okay if you want to mm, oh yes this one was uh, medium uh, that's why yeah. uh, after a while we get used to it but, uh, you have to get used to it and there it is I want to leave you with a good impression that's why I show you what it takes actually uh, and uh, I don't want that I don't want that and what I want is this one uh, this one will be here this one will be here and this one is here alright so okay that's the easiest way to enlarge uh, the picture all right so there it is for today guys so if you like the video please uh, do leave a comment uh, if you wish to if you do not like uh, i would like you uh, to leave a comment and let me know why you don't like the video uh, you can also subscribe or press the bell button thank you for your time and uh, have a nice day bye guys